Hi, and welcome to day eight of my 12 days of Christmas. I'm just going to do a card making walkthrough. I'm going to tell you how I made the cards and I'm going to give you dimensions and then you can go out and make your own. These cards were really easy. The base card stock is all cut in the same way. You take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You cut it in half so that your measurements are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you can either do it uh, this way and score it this direction or you can score it this way. And then you can either use it sideways like that or I've done it this way for this one. Okay, so for the basic card, again, it's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, and then all I've done for the ones that are like this, I've just cut out an internal square and a mat square, and then a couple of extra scrap pieces um, to make the design. So I did a bunch of them that way because it's easy to cut out a whole bunch of three by three squares, or I think this one's two and a half by two and a half, um, and then the outer one is three. So you just cut your inner square a quarter inch smaller than your outer square. So if your outer square is three by three, your inner square is going to be two and three fourths by two and three fourths. Okay. This is just a uh, two inch, maybe one and a half inch piece by four. And then this is just a little smaller than that. And all I've done is, is notch it to make the flag. Okay. So that's all I've done is I've gone through and I've taken scrap paper and, and card stock and just gone through and made a whole bunch of these. Now some of them I changed them up, like I had these little um, scalloped pieces left, so I added that to some of them. But for the most part, they're very, very similar. I may have moved a little bit over, or changed that up, but it was really easy to just sit down and do all of the squares together and glue all of those together and then go back through and put down the base, you know, stuff and then add the squares on. See, here's another piece of that. And so I just went through and I made a whole bunch of bases that I can expand on to make actual cards with the greeting and the whole things. So there's another scallop piece. Then I took some embossing folders and I did something similar but I just embossed the paper first and then I attached it to the front of the cards. And any leftover pieces I added in the background like this one here. This card's actually pretty much finished so I just wanted to show you how that turned out. And like I said I just added little bits and pieces of things and squares and but it turned out so cute and it was really simple and it didn't take a lot of time. And then on the inside I just put this down here to give it a little fun on the inside. Okay, so that one's finished. I'll put that in the finished pile. But these are the ones that I'll need to add sentiments to and bling and all of that. Like here's some bling. What I did was I stamped out a whole bunch of sentiments like Merry and Believe and Merry Christmas and um, I don't know. There's a wishing, you know, warm wishes and, and things like that. So I stamped a bunch of those and then I cut them out. Some of them I just cut straight um, with, you know, scissors or my uh, Fiskars slicer machine there. Not machine, uh, uh, tool. And others I used a punch or in this case I used a, um, I think this is from the Apothecary Thinlets die set um, to cut out the words. Then I sponge inked the edges of it and I just added it to the front of the card with a little pop-up dot dimensionals. Um, so it's really easy. You just, once you've made your card base, you just add the sponged paper and this piece to it. And then I added this with the Mary on top, and then I just added some pearls for a little bit of elegance. 
so easy. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the ones I've done here. So it just depended on what cardstock I had left and what colors I had. So this one ended up being blue and it's got the little snowman on it again. Here's another one. This one's a little more blingy. So I added those snowflakes that I had punched out with uh, little stick-on rhinestones. This one I actually made this poinsettia and I think you've seen some of these previously. Let me grab a couple here. Um, I just make them. I used for these particular ones I used Tim Holtz tattered poinsettia die and I just cut out a whole bunch of them at once and a lot of times I'll do that if I feel like just die cutting things I'll sit down with my big shot or my spellbinders and uh, my spellbinder and I will sit there and I will just run paper through and run paper through and then I'll put them together in a baggie in a bin so that later on when I feel like working with them and doing something cool with them like I did with these I'll do it now this was really fun and it, it does take a little more time but maybe you can see a little better on this one what I've done is I've just taken some uh, Versamark ink and some embossing powder and there's this stuff I think it's called frontage I can't remember for sure if that's not the right name I'll put it in the description below but uh, and I've sprinkled it on while I'm heating it so when you use your embossing gun you heat this up and then you add these little pieces to it and this is what it creates and it turned out so cool I mean look at this gold one I just had so much fun with this um, and then what I did on top of that was I used gold stickles to edge all the petals so that kind of took it one step further some of them I left because I just thought they looked a little more um, country style or shabby chic sort of and others like look at this one I mean because the paper was already painted and and coppery uh, I just left the gold on there and I thought it was perfect it didn't need to be edged so it really depends on the look you're going for um, but I really had a blast making these but see I'd already pump, uh, stamped this out and I just made a card using the cardstock bases that I make up and then I added scrap pieces of paper to it and poof Christmas card so let me show you a couple more here that I've got I like this little Noel All right, so here's this one. I had this uh, shiny cardstock that I turned into the base of the card. And then with the cardinals, I think this is nice, but I feel like it's missing something. I'm not sure what. It, it just feels like plain to me. So I used the uh, gold foil Merry Christmas on here that I got from Pat Catan's when they were having a clearance sale last year. They like to put five ten of the same thing in a uh, zip bag and sell it for less to get rid of their stock and this was one of the items that I got a whole bunch of so I don't know I'm not sure if it needs a flower or what but I'll work on that here's another one I really like this one this one's a little plain as well but I think I'm just gonna add some bling on the Noel part and leave it because I really love the words on here um, because they're they're not just words they're actually they made it like dictionary paper and it's really cute so I'm gonna leave that this is another one of those things where I cut out um, little ornament pieces and then I just kind of put some embossing uh, fluid on it and some embossing powder and heated heated it up and got this really cool texture to the ornament um, this is another one I feel like I may add, I may go in and add a flower or two, but I just, I just haven't done that yet, so. Here's another one with the cardinals that's a little more blingy, um, and you can see that same foil Merry Christmas, and I also added some little foil holly. I think I ran out by the time I got to that one and the other one that I showed you, so that's probably why it's a little blainer. Um, but I like this one. I think I'll just leave it like that. 
There's another Merry Christmas. This one's a side open. And it's got the bling on the snowflakes with the foil Merry Christmas. And then here's another one that has an embossed background to it. And then I just added pieces on top of that. Um, scrap paper and bits and then the snowflakes. And then this was a, a chipboard frame that I had. And I really like how it just kind of pulled it all together. So, all right. And then just a couple more. We're almost done. And I really like how, look at this one. I really like how that turned out. Um, I added, I know that you've seen some of my little ornaments that I've made. Like here's one. And I made this one the other day on camera. You saw that one. So here's some little ones that I added little flower bits to out of scrap Christmas paper that I made. And these are just punches. I just punched them out and added them to the ornament like this. And then I added the ornament to the card. And then there's this one, which I really like. Here's one of the poinsettias I did. Here's a die cut with a epoxy sticker. There's a little ornament here, a little ornament here, and then it's got the Noel. And I believe, yep, it opens that way. All right, happy holidays. This already said happy holidays on it, made it really easy because you just cut that piece out to put on the front and then uh, all I did was add in an ornament with one of the small poinsettia and then this little piece here and it's done. And then I love this. I love this stamp, how the Merry Christmas looks there, the paper, everything about this one. I really love how it turned out. So there you go, that was a quick run through of some Christmas cards. I'm gonna work on finishing up Christmas cards and I will talk to you all later. I hope you go make some Christmas cards.